So this is a fast lesson on character design. So let's go ahead and do the title. And leave that on most recent, 12 frames per second, 720 by 480, and press create. And the, what I want to teach you as far as basics, let's take this, take the grid off, take the pen tool, make sure you got black, click on that, click on this, get your stuff set up just like I taught you on the tutorial number one. If you forgot, go back and watch it again. And if you press the space bar, you can move this around, okay, reposition it, okay. Alrighty. Now, if for some reason you hit the letter C, it will tilt. If you hit the letter V, it will tilt that direction. So if you if you are uh, zooming in, that's the letter X. If you're zooming out, that's the letter Z. So Z on the keyboard goes smaller, X gets bigger. The letter C rotates it that way. The letter V rotates it that way. So if you get it all mixed up, how do you put it back? You see this little tiny chart down here? Let me zoom up to that so you can see that. Okay, come on. Okay, all right. I think you can see this pretty good down here. If you click on the one one and then you click this one right here and the second one, it will actually straighten up the entire page. Okay, so now your drawing area. <clears throat> is repositioned. So this is character design. In case you get your paper all tilted up, that was a quick little lesson. Now let's do a quick character. So if I'm going to draw on the first layer, basically what I want you to do is understand that. Let's just draw a quick face. Maybe some character like a bear or something. All right. It doesn't matter that it's not perfect. Don't worry about it just draw it okay and I'll put a line right there no big deal now let's go ahead and take and color this all right and maybe we want to color it with this color here take black maybe we want to do yes these browns for this ear and maybe we'll do the black for the eyes now what I want you to see is that you can draw it just like you did there, but watch what's going to happen when you try to move this character. Oops. It breaks in pieces. So control Z over and over until it puts it all back. And you can group it. Okay. Go to tools, group. Okay. So now it will move together. Well, that's one way of doing it. Now let me show you another way. Let's do it right here again. Let's take the black. And then this time, I'm going to draw the ear, okay? And I'm going to draw another ear, and I'm going to keep them separate. And I know that those ears are going to be brown. And I'm going to group that ear. Oops. Control Z. I am going to select that. Control G is group, okay? Control G or Command G. And then I'm going to go Command G on that one. So this is grouped, this is grouped. Whoops. Let's do it again. Control G. And yep, that's grouped, that's grouped. And now I'm going to draw this part of it, the face that's in the back. So I'm a, this is a different way to do characters, okay? I'm going to get black. And this time I'm going to do the head. Maybe it, it'll look like that. And what color did I make the head over here? Okay, maybe something like this one. All right, so I'm going to now select these two and control G, group them. So now notice how I've got these pieces. I can create my char char character in pieces now you can stretch this select all of it hold shift and pull only on a corner and see it'll get it'll get larger all right so if you need it larger you can do that and then get the move tool i'm sorry the brush tool get your black and maybe put your eye now don't put your eyes on top of there put them over here or make them a little smaller okay and fill them in with black Maybe control G that. Whoops. Control G that. Put them on here. Notice the type of construction. This is all separate. Let's do the nose. Well, the big snout thing there. Maybe we color it with that color. Control G. And again, we're going to do black and do the nose. Highlight it. Control G. 
notice I have this all in pieces. Okay, and maybe you want to put the little mouth there like that. All right, and it's all in pieces. We don't have to put the other stick on there. But what's beautiful, I'm going to take this one and throw it away because I don't want it. What is beautiful about this is that you can now redesign this. Now, if you want to put this in the front, you can go over here to Tools. And I believe that we can, let me see, Element, Arrange, bring, not the element, we want to bring the object. So I, let me see, Transform, Flip Vertically, display okay it is here somewhere but I will tell you the one of the fastest way to bring the object to the front and I'm still looking while I'm talking is actually select the object okay here we go we're gonna bring it to the front it's on tools alright so if you select this go right here go to where was it uh, range bring it to the front notice how I put it there but one of the faster ways to do it is just copy it Okay, I just copied it. Control C, delete it, and then paste it again. And when you paste it, it'll put it way on top. Okay, so maybe you want to put your ears like that, and maybe you want to move your eyes here, move your nose there. And notice that every time you click on an object, there's this little round thing. You can actually use that to rotate the object. Okay, alrighty. And so now understand that you can copy this character. Okay, Control C move to the next layer and control V whoops make sure you click on this page if you don't click on this page see if you move to the next layer and move over here and you don't click back on top of this you cannot paste so you have to paste it so let's take this and move it slightly maybe move that there that there move the eyes a little bit apart move the nose a little bit maybe like that and move the mouth okay and then maybe I want to hold shift and hold the nose and then hold the mouthpiece and move this whole thing right here like that okay so now let's just play these two pictures rewind it put it on a loop and play and notice it's animated imagine doing that frame by frame by frame by frame and having him do all kinds of stuff where his ears move and his eyes turn and do all kinds of stuff alright go ahead and enjoy that was a basic lesson on character design